What's up, boys and girls? Mathily Live School at Home Edition. So today, um, we are going to be continuing our lessons when it comes to that kind of topic. Divide. Division. At para mas mapadali ang ating division rules, we got these on hand. Our divisibility rules. This week, Dadagdagan pa natin yan dahil pag-uusapan naman natin ay ang divisibility rules for 4, 8, 11, and 12. Pero this time, dahil medyo marami na tayo rules, susubukan naman natin ang mga ito sa bigger numbers. Sa visibility or divisibility rules kasi for 4, 8, 11, 12, malaki talaga yung mga numbers na tinitingnan. Kasi, kasi pag... 11, ang mga multiples niyan, kayang-kaya natin i-divide. 11, 22, 33, 44, umuulit lang. Pero pagdating sa 12, ganun din. I-multiply mo. But, paano pag malaki, paano malalaman kung pwede siyang i-divide without any remainders? Let's start with the number 4 muna. Ang isang number ay divisible by 4 kung ang last two digits nito ay parehong 0 o kaya divisible by 4. Last two digits nito ay parehong 0, 0, 0, o divisible by 4. Halimbawa, hmm, ang 632, divisible by 2 by 4. Kung susundan natin ang divisibility rule for 4, kailangan lang nating tingnan yung last two digits. Diba? Sinabi natin kanina, dahil ang 32 ay divisible by 4, this makes 632 divisible by 4. May mga nagko-comment dyan. Di ako naniniwala, Kuya Robs. Paano nangyari yun? Ang bilis mo naman malaman. Again, may mga rules tayo. Last two digits na hitignan nyo, 32 is divisible by 4. Check natin. When we divide 632 by 4, kailangan 0 or no remainder tayo. Ha? 6 divided by 4 is 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. Bring down 3. 23 divided by 4 is equal to 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 23 minus 20 is 3. Bring down 2. Now, 32 divided by 4 is equal to 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. Final answer natin ay 158 with no remainders. Mm -hmm. Dahil nga, Zero ang remainder. Ang 632 ay divisible by 4. Okay. Pareho ang nakuha natin sagot gamit ang divisibility rule for 4. Pwede rin natin uh, sabihin yung 448. Actually, 100 divisible by 4. ba? Kasi if we have this number, um, yung last two digits niya ay 0, 0. If we check, 100 divided by 4 is equal to 25. No remainder, divisible by 4 yan. At pwede rin yung mga numbers like 448, 1016, 5300, 6400, at marami pang iba. Basta yung last two digits, yung titignan natin. Okay, mga punta naman tayo. Dumako naman tayo sa ating susunod na rule. Ayon sa divisibility rule for 8, hmm, ang isang number ay divisible by 8 kung ito ay nagtatapos sa tatlong zero o kaya naman ang last three digits nito ay divisible by eight. Medyo lumalaki na yung numbers natin. Pero magagamit nyo to in the future. I promise. Let's try the number 1,720. Ito ba ay divisible by eight? Last three digits, okay? Ayon sa rule, kailangan natin tingnan yung huling Tatlong digits. Ang 720 ba ay divisible by 8? Check natin. 720 divided by 8 is 90. Zero remainder. Following the rule, divisible nga ang 1720 by 8. Okay, check natin. Ha? Subukan natin i-divide. 1720 divided by 8. Medyo malaking number. Pero kaya yan. 
17 divided by 8 is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. 17 minus 16 is equal to 1. Bring down to 12 divided by 8 is 1. 8 times 1 is 8. 12 minus 8 is 4. Bring down 0. 40 divided by 8 is 5. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. Sakto. Walang remainder. Walang labis. Walang kulang. Kaya 1,720 is divisible by 8. Instead of dividing the four-digit given, tulad nitong ginagawa natin, yung last three digits na lang, yung titignan natin, o kailangan natin divide using our divisibility rule for 8. Mas maliit na yung number, kaya mas kayang-kayang isolve, mas, mas kayang-kayang i-manage kesa pag titignan mo yung lahat, medyo matatakot ka. Pero dito, sa divisibility rules, kami ang bahala sa inyo. Another example, ang 1,000 ba ay divisible by 8? Tama. 1,000 is divisible by 8. Dahil ang last three digits na to ay 0. Alam natin ang 1,000 ay divisible by 8. Ah, di ka nininiwala. Divide natin. 1,000 divided by 8 is equal to 1, 2, 5. No remainder. Sakto yung pagkakahati kaya naman. We can say that easily 1,000 is divisible by 8. Mas dali lang, di ba? Mas dali lang. Okay, base sa ating rule. When it comes to divisible, uh, divisibility rules for 8. Magbigay nga kayo ng example. Ano pa ba? Um, pwedeng 1,016, 3,648, 4,000, 15,000, or any number na either zero ang last three digits or divisible by eight. Okay, two divisibility rules down, two more to go. Unahin muna natin yung divisibility rule for 12 dahil magagamit natin dito yung mga natutunan natin so far. Ayon dito, a number is divisible by 12 kung ito ay divisible by both 3 and 4. 3 and 4. Katandaan nyo ba? Halimbawa, ang 1,524. Kung susundan natin ang rule, we need to check first no? kung divisible ba yung number by 3. Paano ba natin malalaman kung divisible ito by 3? Hmm. Correct. The sum of all digits should be divisible by 3. O, subukan natin. Ha? 1, 5, 2, 4. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. Plus 4 is equal to 12. Dahil 12 ang ating sagot. 12 by, by 3. Divisible yan by 3. This makes 1, 5, 2, 4 divisible by 3. Okay. Okay na sa 3. But we're not yet done. Kailangan pa sakto sa 4. Check muna natin yung criteria. Ngayon naman, tignan natin kung divisible sa 4. Ano ulit yung divisibility rule natin for 4? Pag-usapan natin to kanina. Yes. Dapat either 0 or divisible by 4. Yung last 2 digits nito. Dahil, pag tinignan natin dito, 24 ay divisible by 4. This makes 1, 5, 2, 4 divisible by 4. Ang galing, no? Ah, dali. Kung divisible ito by both 3 and 4, ibig sabihin, promise yan, kahit yung aso ko dito natutuwa. 12, divisible by 2 by 12. Yes, tama yan. Check natin. Okay, 1, 5, 2, 4 divided by 12. If you put that in our calculator or mental math or kung may pluma at papel kayo dyan. Pluma at papel, pluma. 1, 5, 2, 4 divided by 12 is 1, 2, 7. No remainder. Divisible nga ang 12 sa 1, 5, 2, 4. Moving on, no? Kung 3,297 naman. Is this divisible by 12? Let's check. Mm -hmm. Divisible by 2 by 3. The sum of the digits, 3 plus 2 plus 9 plus 7, ilan yat yan? That is 21. Dahil 21 ay divisible by 3, pasok yan. Sigurado. Next, last two digits, 4. 
Ah, for divisibility rule for 4, 97. Is 97 divisible by 4? If we check, hmm, 97, let me check again. Is 97 divisible by 4? Hmm, so hindi. It does not follow. Oh, not, not divisible. That means hindi po divisible ang number na ito sa 12. Mm -hmm. Hindi pwede. Okay? Now, using this rule, using this rule, pwede bang uh, magbigay kayo ng number na divisible sa 12? Kailangan, it follows the 3, divisibility rule for 3, and divisibility rule for 4. Let's go, guys. Hmm. Kasama ba sa mga binigay nyo ang 108-540-1152-7200? Marami pang iba. Basta, tandaan nyo, for divisibility rule for 12, kailangan pumapasok yung rules ng 3 and 4. Okay. Tapos na tayo sa divisibility rule for 4, 8, and 12. Ngayon naman, tignan natin ang divisibility rule for 11. Medyo challenging to pero very useful, no? Ayon sa rule na ito, ang isang number ay divisible by 11 kung ang difference ng sum ng alternating digits nito ay 0 or divisible by 11. At para mas ma-visualize natin, magbigay tayo ng halimbawa. Tignan natin ang 13,574. Laking number. Balik tayo sa rule. 13,574. Ang isang number ay divisible by 11 kung ang difference ng sum ng alternating digits nito ay 0 or divisible by 11. Hmm. When we say alternating, ang ginagawa natin ay pinaghihiwalay natin yung mga numbers na nasa odd at even places. Ngayon, alam na natin kung alin yung mga digits na pagkasamahin. Sige, let's add. 1 alternate plus 5 is... 6 alternate plus 4 is equal to 10. Next, 3. So that the number plus 7 is equal to 10. Tapos sa tayo mag-add. Now, we get the difference. We subtract. 10 minus 10 is 0. Based on the rule, this makes 13,574 divisible by 11. Check nga natin. 13,574 divided by 11 is equal to, if you're gonna crunch in the numbers, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. No remainder. Ibig sabihin, divisible ang uh, 11 sa 13,574. Too many numbers in my head right now. <laughs> but those are the rules. Okay. Let's try this bigger number. Subukan nga natin. Let's have 92,983. Is this divisible by 11? Let's use our rule. No? Hmm. We can have 9. Alternate plus 9 is 18. Plus 3, 21. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. 21 minus 10 is equal to 11. Dahil nga 11 ay divisible by itself, we know that 92983 is divisible by 11. Pwede yung mga numbers I can give you. Examples. Like 1,353, 8,283, 9,295. Pwede ang uh, 10,000. 835 at marami pang iba. Basta ang difference ng sum ng alternating digits nila ay 0 or divisible by 11. Galing, no? Using these rules, nalalaman natin agad kung ang number ay divisible by a given number. Hindi na natin kailangan mag-long division. We just need to check the divisibility rules. Hmm. Sige, review nga natin. Divisible ang isang number by 4 kung ang last two digits nito ay either 0 or divisible by 4. Ito naman ay divisible by 8 kung ang last three digits nito 
ay either 0 or divisible by 8. At divisible naman ang number by 12 kung ito ay parehong divisible by 3 and 4. And lastly, ito ay divisible by 11 kung ang difference ng sum ng alternating digits nito ay 0 or divisible by 11. And dahil nga, we have time left. Let's have some math dali quiz time. Let's have item number one. True or false? 6,400 is divisible by both 4 and 8. I'll give you 20 seconds to answer go. Reminder, when it comes to 4, last two digits. Comes to 8, last three digits. Hmm. Come on, guys. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, time is up. Correct answer is true. <laughs> 6,400 is divisible by four and eight. Dahil nga, when you look at for the divisibility rule for four, last two digits na i zero. At when it comes to eight, 400 is divisible by eight. Item number two. <clears throat> Which among the following is divisible by 12? Is it A, 22, B, 143, C, 648, or D, 1,143, 20 seconds, go? Is it 22? Hmm. Ano ba yung sa 12 ulit? Reminder, kailangan 3 and 4. Last 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Time is up. The correct answer is... C. Okay, let us see, guys. It's 648. I answer divisibility rule for 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it's both divisible by 3 and 4. Check natin. To see if 648 is divisible by 3, let's add the digits, no? Um, 6 plus 4 is 8. 4 is 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. 18 divisible by 3? Yes. Next, tignan muna natin. I, na, tignan muna natin kung divisible to sa 4. Last two digits, titignan natin. 6, 4, 8. 48. 48 is divisible by 4. So that means 6, 4, 8 is divisible by 4. Okay? And we will be back. For more next week, tandaan nyo guys. Isip plus saga equals math dali. I'll see you guys next week. Isip plus saga.